America armed and dangerous. There are now some 40 million handguns Firearm in this country. Firearm injuries represent an epidemic in epidemic the United of States. gun violence. Join us in this campaign to reduce gun violence. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun Another mass shooting is in America. a good guy a with shooting a gun. Rampage 316 this people are shot every single day. We are a country where gun violence is embedded in everyday life. There are nearly 400 million guns in the hands of Americans. That is nearly double the number of cars on the road. Firearm injury is now the leading cause of death in children in America. And still we have no movement to stop the violence, no political will to curb access to deadly firearms, no will to stand up against the $64 billion gun industry. The battle over firearms is wrapped in a Second Amendment that was never about the security of our communities. It was designed to ensure that early settlers had the weapons needed to annihilate indigenous peoples, such as the Anacostan, who were the first stewards of the land that would become Washington, D.C. The Second Amendment, as with other U.S. policies, was not designed to protect people of color. It was written to provide a means a violent means for white people to dominate this land that would be colonized. Today the argument about access to guns is one filled with fear. Fear of a country that is increasingly diverse but also increasingly inequitable. Whether it's crime, access to health care, or affordable housing, people of color are typically left at a disadvantage. Fear that drives the notion that adding more police will make us safer. A solution that would have us believe that law and order will provide shelter for the homeless and food for the hungry. We are a country unwilling to have the difficult conversation about the root causes of violence, unwilling to face the inequities that drive violence, unwilling to address the continuing cycle of trauma. We also just need to ask some deeper questions about why people in America are just so unhappy and so alone that they would resort to violence this regularly and this casually. The fear and stress of trying to survive and thrive in a country designed to be inequitable fuels a crisis of hopelessness and helplessness that leaves little options but violence as a means to be heard, a means to have needs met. Gun violence is a symptom. The real issue is everything that happens before the fearful and hopeless person finds a gun. Our communities were infested with guns, with drugs, with despair, and with a lack of opportunity. I don't want to lose a gun. It just hurts. It is time to listen to our children. It is time to protect our children. Tonight, we face the truth about our obsession with firearms and our national epidemic of violence. Tonight, we chart the pathway to healing and hope.